Let's go over Insane 100, Impossible 20, and how you can get an extra floor or two with a little special technique. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Anime Warrior Simulator 2 because we're going to be going over the DPS requirements for Impossible 220. Oh my god, so many numbers. Insane 100, and I'm going to teach y'all about alt canceling. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the like button, do the subscribe button. I really appreciate it helps me a lot. Let's get running into it. So we're going to go over the DPS first. I'm going to show you all the run that I got, room 100. And how close it was and i'll let y'all see a little technique i was doing and then i'll explain how alt canceling works and basically if you don't know what alt canceling is it basically allows you to do more damage and clear a little more rooms so if you're soloing or you can't get a carry this is a good way you can kind of help push yourself further so let's get running into it first things first here is impossible 20. there's the dps requirement for it so fairly easy now i know a lot of people are going to be like Sister, we can now go to uh, Impossible 50. It'll be so easy. No, 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 no. Here's the health of room 22. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's going to take a while. <laughs> like, no. So for everyone's like, oh, yeah, we'll be able to get the plus one equip soon. No, you won't. No, no, that's still a few updates away. So before everyone gets all excited, no, you can hold on. Now let's go to Insane 100. So I've already posted before the DPS for room 75, but I didn't want to go ahead and post this. This is the DPS I had, which by the way, stop using, click the DPC, stop using this, stop, no, because here's the deal. Someone can have the same this, but different this, okay? So always go by DPS, don't go by this, okay? So the DPS required actually needs to be a little bit higher than this. I had 3.5 trillion. I would probably say you need about 3.6, 3.7. And you're going to see why. So here is the footage. I am going to let you know I was using alt canceling through this. And I'll explain how this works. So we're at the very end of the footage. We're getting this last room. So what all canceling is, guys, is I am not allowing any of my characters to use their ultimate attacks. Because if you don't know, the ultimate attacks take forever to fire off. And you're actually losing DPS when you do this. So it's actually better to not allow them to do that and you will get more damage. And as you can see, I had a record finish. Less than a second left when I finished that boss off. So yeah, I was very, very excited be able to grab that um however for those of you that are like oh sister you should go upgrade it well i did upgrade it with what i had 
and I have upgraded it since. So mine's at level nine now. Um, this looks amazing. However, yeah, I would have slightly more drop luck, and I would slightly have I would have warrior speed. So at this point, until I can get this up high enough, which this is the max level stats for it, once you get it up to 25, once I get it to that point, yeah, I'll fuss with it. So, and before anyone asks, I have tried to carry people to room 100. I am not able to at this time. Um, already tried, didn't work. So I will update y'all when that's a thing. But what I do want to describe is alt canceling, how that works, what you need to have in order to do that so that it can help you out. So we're going to go over here. I am going to go grab. I'm going to take everyone off my team except for Thanos. So, Thanos, I need you to stop auto-attacking everything, please. Thank you. And we're also going to turn on warrior effects. So, basically, show you all what happens. So, he's going to go attack that. He does a few swings. His bar fills up. He steps up. He blasts it. Yay! We get all that nice, pretty damage from that ultimate. He's going to do it again. Now, what's happening, even though he's doing that ultimate attack and getting a ton of damage off, it's actually not as fast as if I was to alt cancel him. So how this works is he's going to go one, two, three. He goes to do his ultimate and I stop him. Now, you're going to have to have your auto attack turned on when you do this because that way he will automatically go back. One, two, three. And he already finished that. I think Sister Guard was dumb and forgot to mention how you were able to do this is you need to be have disable retreat turned on or basically you need to be able to have that option to be able to do it. So once you've sent all your units, it'll give you the option to be able to retreat. So that's part of how this works. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the range down because I don't want him attacking other stuff. I'm going to time the difference between me just allowing him to attack normally and if I was to do alt canceling and show y'all exactly what the difference is and as far as speed goes now what i do when i do this is when i send him over to attack something as i click i watch the bar fill up i stop him and he gets sent back pretty much when he stops moving is when i will click the button now there are a few units that do not require as many attacks in order to use their alt so we have Ethereal and Deity. Deity is minus three. So I always watch all my Deity units when I'm doing this. So let me grab a timer on screen for y'all. Okay, yeah, we got a timer. Let me go on over here. So I'm gonna start the timer right when I hit start on this and we'll see how long this takes. Just me letting him go. Okay, we're nearing the end here. Guy's got three trillion left. And we're done. So roughly, let's say two minutes, 50 seconds. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt cancel. I do actually have to see my unit in order to do this. So, and I do kind of have to be standing on top of the guy. So I'm just going to let y'all know this is not going to be the prettiest picture. So I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and reset that. Here we go. All right. We turn on auto attack at the same time and let's get going. And there we go. Basically almost three times the speed. And if you're wondering again how I'm doing this and you're a little bit confused, if, because a lot of us don't play with player uh, warrior effects on, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You can do two things. You can watch their bar fill up or when they stop moving. 
So say you're all the way back here. Just once your warrior has stopped moving, that means it's going to go into its ultimate. Now, if you're doing this for your whole team, which I can put on my whole team real quick. Here we go. I watch when my deities stop moving. So when these two right here are fairly easy for me to watch. So once they stop moving, I click the button. The auto attack sends them back. This works best if you have your auto attack at max speed. And as you can see, we're clearing this boss insanely fast. This is something I would recommend doing active play. I probably could set in like an auto clicker when I am AFK doing this, but nah. So that that's how you can get a few more rooms. That's how you can get a few more basically floors. So if you're doing dungeon solo, good way to do it. Now this really doesn't work on meteors or the secret boss, so don't get too excited about that. So just kind of giving you a heads up. Um, I also want to show y'all what the aura looks for 100 because I realized I never showed that. I'm sorry. So, but yeah, that's all canceling. It is amazingly, it, it it's, <laughs> you need to be doing it if you can. So here is the aura. It is a big bright purple. Very pretty. So I would, I would recommend probably not this update, but probably the next update. Probably going to be a little bit easier for people to do carries on that. So I do actually think there is a YouTuber that's able to do it, but they have a few really high end people with them. So, But clips, hopefully this video was helpful and getting y'all basically to get a little bit further in the game. I would recommend doing alt canceling. You can also do this just when you're farming regular mobs, just to kind of help speed stuff up. Um, it, it's a little tedious to do, to be frank. I would just recommend doing it in dungeons. So, but hopefully y'all have a great day and I will see y'all next time.